So I've already had a pretty interesting Monday. Um, I woke up well before my alarm and uh, couldn't get back to sleep, so I decided to just get up and work on stuff. And then eventually Mal woke up at the correct time, at the alarm. And then, you know, we both kind of went through our day a little bit and then I just, you know, crashed because I was so tired from waking up at the wrong time. So uh, I decided to lay down and take a nap. And, you know, I didn't set an alarm because I just, I don't know, I figured, I, I, I probably won't sleep long, I probably don't need much. And then of course I, I slept uh, quite a bit and now it's dinner time. And um, I actually never even ate lunch. Yeah, so, too. and I, I did, I had some leftovers and I never even ate them, but I'll eat them soon. Hello everyone and, and welcome to Monday. I feel better now. My body must have been screaming for, for some extra sleep. So I decided to get some. I actually had a very bizarre dream. Uh, I'll probably tell this on Breakfast Stream tomorrow if I can remember, but not everyone watches Breakfast Stream. Um, I had a dream that, uh, you know, the, the first episode of Morning Mario came out today. And I had a dream that for whatever reason, I couldn't get the second episode completed in time, like something was going on. And Tom, Tom Fox was like, don't worry, buddy, I'll take care of it. I'll, I'll you know, I'll get the video done for you. And I was like, really? I appreciate it, man, thank you. And then when he sent me the video, it was him in ski gear on a mountain, like giving snowboarding tips. And I was like, uh, and he was like, do you like it? Do you like it? And I was like, you know, Tom, it, it's a great video. It's just, it's not, it's not Morning Mario. Like it's not, there's not even a game. It's just you giving snowboarding tips. He's like, I took some liberties. I took some liberties. And that is what I was thinking about as Mallory woke me up. So that was a, a really bizarre dream. Anyway, uh, tonight, uh, we are actually, we're doing something we haven't done in a long time, and that is uh, Portobello mushroom caps. Um, we, we were at the store the other night. Lately, lately, kind of how we've been doing um, meals is we're just, we're just going to the store and picking out um, meat and vegetable and just going from there. You know, getting like two or three days worth, coming home, eating that for two or three days, and then go back to the store, etc. And uh, while we were walking through, Nothing sounded good. And I was like, I don't want meat. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've done a portobello cap. Let's do that. So we got all the stuff and that's what we're having tonight. And honestly, it sounds great. They're gonna be stuffed with spinach and artichokes, uh, drizzled with balsamic. And I'm, I'm so looking forward to it. Um, mushroom caps are, are something that uh, we had quite a bit growing up um, just because uh, you know, my mom's a vegetarian and um, it's not that we didn't have meat. We had meat, you know, a fair bit, but um, obviously my mom liked to make stuff that she could also uh, enjoy and uh, portobello mushroom caps was something that was, you know, pretty common. So we're going to work on those and then uh, once we get dinner all set, I've got uh, another cool thing to show you guys today. Those look good. Don't breathe that in. You'll start coughing. Okay. One of those definitely looks... Uh, <laughs> yeah, one of them's a little bigger than the other one. The other one, the other one ended up turning into a little pancake. The one on the left is beautiful, though. Mallory, this came out very, very beautiful. That is a very pretty meal. Now the flat one <laughs> didn't look as nice. But I mean, it's still going to be delicious. It has just as many toppings as as the other one. And paired with it, we have a pear gor gorgonzola salad, which sounds very fancy, but it, the salad's actually from a kit. Whenever we were looking at picking up some lettuce to have a salad with this, that was one of the things that was there. And we're like, that sounds good and different. Let's try that. So, yeah, this uh, we should do this more often. Yeah. I, uh, I love those things. I think it's a little bit too much oregano, but it's good. Who, who, who would have made that d d decision? Who was doing that step who was, of the process? Who was, <laughs> hmm. Honestly, the real travesty is anyone not using enough oregano. Because oregano is great. Sure. Oregano is great. We should put it on everything, and we should put it on everything in copious amounts. Wow. You really can taste the oregano. I know. I told you. <laughs> okay, so I might have overdone it a little bit on the oregano. You know. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, okay, I should have reduced the bams. Otherwise, it's pretty good. 
I think this was Rachel Ray's recipe with a few modifications. Yeah. Like adding oregano. Don't. Probably don't need it. There's a few other little I things I would a, tweak, but. Yeah, I also did a balsamic reduction for the top. Yeah, and it, that came out good too. My mom probably has her own recipe too. We could see how that one's different from this one because well, I grew up eating hers. It's similar. She just adds sun dried tomatoes and. Uh, and sun dried tomatoes would be a good addition anyway. I thought we had some, we don't. Well, well next time. And I think there will definitely be a next time because um, this is good. And honestly, like, I was just tired of meat. Like, there was just nothing that sounded good. Like, sometimes we'll switch it up, you know, chicken. Pork, beef, you know, fish. The other day we did turkey, which is kind of, you know, weird. And I, just nothing sounded good. I was like, let's do, let's do portobello caps. Okay, now that dinner is over, I'm gonna tell you about the special thing that came today. But first, a shout out to our Patreon producers. Their names are scrolling along the bottom of the screen now. If you'd like to learn more about Patreon uh, and all the perks that come along with that, you can click on the link uh, i would never actually known. Or the uh, the link in the description box down below. Also, the reason I'm doing that is that it's the first of the month. And it's a particularly, I think, notable first of the month because it's July 1st. And when July occurs, that means that the first half of the year is gone. Half of 2019 is over. Which my, my brain says, how is that possible? 2019 just started. It didn't. <laughs> it didn't. It's actually been here a while and it's half over and uh, time's going very quickly and soon we'll all be 80 uh, and or dead. It's very, very exciting. Anyway, okay, so let's get on to the exciting thing. Um, Uniqlo is a clothing company that I, be I believe they're based in Japan? They are. They're it's based in Japan. Japanese, um, Japanese department store. It's like a um, H&M. Yeah. Anyway, they uh, they team up with all sorts of other brands to produce uh, interesting and unique um, clothing um, that is surprisingly inexpensive. Um, and they have stores in Japan, but then they also have some stores uh, in the States, in some of the bigger cities, and then they also do online sales. The reason I'm telling you all of this is because occasionally they team up with Nintendo. Uh, they did a Nintendo contest like last year, year before? or the year before where um, artists were able to design shirts and then submit them and then the winners were actually created. They were actual shirts that they sold in the stores, which I think is pretty neat. This year they did it, but they did it with the Pokemon company. And they posted the shirts the other day. They sell it pretty quickly, but Mal was like, on the web. I set an alarm. Mal, Mal, Mal woke up at Katie 9 a.m. like, all right, 9 a.m. Friday. Mal woke up at 9 a.m. on Friday. Um, I didn't even know this, I was just asleep. Um, she woke up at 9 a.m. so she could order the shirts because she was so excited about them. And uh, I looked, at the, you could see all the designs ahead of time. So we looked at the designs and there was there was one shirt I was interested in uh, and what, two shirts you were interested Four. in? I limited myself to two. Oh. I was like, you ordered four shirts? I ordered some other stuff. Um, it's a really good store for like basics, like camisoles and like socks and plain t-shirts. Those are boring. But you ordered two shirts. Two Pokemon shirts. Okay, two, but that's that's what I was getting at. I, I, I just got one. There were a few other ones that I was like vaguely interested in, but only one that I really, really liked. So I decided to order it. So now let's go over yours first. So which ones did you uh, end up ordering? This is the one I wanted the most. The one you wanted the most. And that one is... The Jigglypuff one. And that one is very cute. And honestly, that one really takes me back to... Um, and there's stuff on the back. The anime. Yeah. Because it's it's essentially only an anime reference. Yeah. I don't think there's any part of the... So. I don't think there's any part of the games where Jigglypuff has a marker and writes on people's faces. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure she doesn't. All right, and then you've got another one. And which one? I, and I don't even know which one she picked. I knew that you were interested in the Jigglypuff one, but I didn't see that the other ones. That was my favorite one. Oh, okay. That one's uh, kind of in the style of Detective Pikachu, but without the detective yeah. part. That's so a good one. The two I got. It's not that your choices were bad, but my shirt is, I would almost say, objectively better. 
That's the one I got. Good, but they didn't have it in the woman's cut. Oh. Although the woman's cut for this, sometimes their woman's cut are like real baggy, and then sometimes they're real fitted. But um. It's uh, that. it's the classic uh, art Focus piece. Eye. What's it called? Focus. It's the Great Wave. It's the Great Wave. Yeah, it's a great wave, but it's got Magikarp in it. And it I has Snorlax in it. Does it have Snorlax in it? Oh, He's I didn't even boat. know that. Oh, that's that's really cute. Yeah, honestly, I saw that and it was colorful and cute, and I was like, I love that. That's I want to get that I shirt. I liked it, but that was the one you wanted most, so. So you didn't get it. No. I also liked the. Uh, I think they had a Gengar one. That one was cool. That was really cool. You know what? Th that's a big problem, though. Is that uh, with this, and then especially with the uh, the last promotion they did with Nintendo, they made different designs for different people, for men, women, and especially children. Oh, the kids ones are always the best. I know, and it's there was a Kirby one. Yes, there was a Kirby shirt as a part of one of the last things, and I was like, I love that Kirby shirt. I want to get that Kirby shirt. And it was like, this is only for children who could not possibly be more than eight years old. And I'm like. Oh. I mean, That's not going to work. Haley said she could fit into the kids. <laughs> well, she's very fortunate. Yeah. That she could do that because, uh, yeah, there was a, there was one from last time that I, I that was Kirby that I really wanted, and I, they didn't make it in my size, and I was like, well, okay, guess I won't get that one, but I like the Magikarp shirt. I think it's a really cool shirt, um, and I, obviously you guys are getting this vlog <laughs> later. Um, I don't know if they'll still have the shirts or not, but even if they don't, my advice would be to, um, you know, check out Uniqlo's stuff. They have, they have Nintendo stuff all the time. They, they have, have, they have like a Nintendo line. They um, have, uh, Shonen Jump right now too. Okay. And we have the Namco shirts. Yeah. Um, I have the Galaga one and you have the Pac-Man one. Those yeah. are from Uniqlo. Yeah. One of the, I mean the, the shirts, the shirts are nice. Um, I really, the designs are really cool. And I think the best part about it is that they're very inexpensive. So uh, something certainly to check out. Um, I know recently there was like a, a Pokemon Direct where they talked about like the really, really nice Pokemon shirts, which are like specialty fabric and they're cut. And the, I think the shirts ended up being, they're like 130 or something dollars. So contrast that with this, which is, you know, 15. you know, obviously a different style of shirt, but in my opinion, cooler. <laughs> And yeah, like ten to fifteen bucks. I I would I'd, I'd get the the cheaper one. You could get you know eight to ten of those shirts for the cost of the the button up shirts. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you managed to pick out uh, some of these Uniqlo Pokemon shirts, then let me know which ones you got. Um, maybe there was maybe there was a kid's design that you really liked that you couldn't get. I'd be interested in hearing about that too. I wish they wouldn't do that. I wish they would just make them all available. I don't know what the odds of them doing that for the future are, but there's some designs that they they make that are just... Sometimes I want the flashy kids ones, man. It doesn't have to be muted and, and dulled down for adults. Adults are exciting. Adults can be exciting. <laughs> Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?